Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with GetOnStream.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to set up your Streamlabs OBS settings for a high-end PC, whether you're gaming and streaming at the same time, or you just want to use this as a streaming PC. However, these settings I'm gonna show you are pretty much for that single PC streaming setup to get the best performance out of your computer and your stream to get a really high quality stream while being able to play your games at a high FPS and still be able to do well in the games. So what we're gonna do is just jump in. I'm gonna go step by step through all of the settings in Streamlab OBS that you need to change, and then you'll be ready to go ahead and get yourself on stream. So let's go ahead and jump in to OBS here inside my template and I'll show you exactly what settings you want to have. So the first thing that we wanna do is head down into the settings over here, and this is gonna be all of your main settings inside Streamlabs. If you haven't went ahead and ran auto-optimize on your computer, then I would recommend doing that, and that is this button right here. So chances are, if you've come to this video, you're having some sort of issue on your stream, or maybe it's your first time streaming. If you have a good PC, it's probably gonna be able to detect what settings are gonna be best for you. So I would definitely recommend coming in here, clicking this auto optimize button, click start, and then it will give you the best possible settings for your specific computer. However, you might find that once you do that, you're still having issues or whatnot, or you want to even increase or enhance the performance of your stream, then I would recommend coming ahead and using the exact same settings that I have on mine. So the next step that you wanna go to after you've done the auto optimize, if that doesn't work out well for you, come down here to the output section and you wanna go to output mode advanced. So it's probably gonna be on simple when you click this, just click advanced and you're gonna get a few more options that's going to allow you to control your stream. The main one here being the encoder. And there's gonna be two different options to choose from here, depending on what sort of graphics card you're running. If you're running one of the newer NVIDIA graphics card, you're probably gonna be able to use the hardware NVENC new option right here as your encoder. If you're using an AMD, probably want to go for the software times 264. However, with NVIDIA, people have found that this performs better on their streams. So if you do have a high end, one of the new 20 or 30 series graphics cards, hardware and Venk new is the first option I would go for. So that's what we're gonna go through first. That's what I use on my PC. I'm running a 2080 Super. So the next one down is rate control. You wanna set this to CBR right here. And then your bit rate, I would recommend putting that at 6,000. However, if you have a really good PC and you have terrible internet connection, then this really isn't going to work. You wanna make sure your bit rate is really based around how good your connection is, and this is how much you know is being uploaded to Twitch. So what you wanna do here is, I would recommend setting that at 6,000 if you have a good internet speed. And I would say that is anything upwards of 20 megabits upload. So go ahead to speedtest.net, do a speed test on your internet connection and test that. Even just test it out at 6,000 bit rate here. This is gonna give you a really high quality stream with no like kind of choppiness in it, no kind of pixelation. It's gonna give you a really, really good looking stream at 6,000. If you're finding that that is just too much, your internet, you're dropping frames, then I would go ahead and bump that down to 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 until you find that sweet spot. The next option here is preset. And I like to choose quality right here. Obviously there's a couple of different options here, anywhere from performance, max performance, low latency, uh, right up to max quality. I like to run it at quality that's gonna give me a really high quality stream that looks really good uh, to my viewers. However, that will eat up some extra resources versus using an option here like performance. However, you've come to this video because you've bought a high-end PC and you wanna run your games well while streaming good. So I would go for quality and test that out. Again, if it does start throttling your PC, then maybe bump it down to performance a little bit. It won't make a massive difference in your stream. So test it, see what works for you, but I would recommend going for quality on this. Profile here is just going to be high and then psycho visual tuning should be on and GPU should be zero and that's gonna be your main GPU right there. So that is the options if you are using hardware and Venk as your encoder. Other people who maybe are running AMD or are just using their CPU to stream, then I would recommend going for software times 264. And that's gonna use your CPU versus your graphics card to encode your stream. So if you're using software 264, again, you want your rate control to be on CBR. You wanna come here and go to 6,000 for your bit rate. For your CPU usage, I would recommend going very fast right here and profile none, tune none, and no options right here. So fairly simple settings, just copy exactly what I've got here 
and that should be you good to go for your output settings. I'm just going to switch mine back to hardware and vent right here. So next up is going to be your video settings and you'll see that this is what I currently run. My base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080. That's what I normally play my games in. When you're streaming, playing in 1440p or playing in 4K, it's just really not going to happen. It doesn't work very well. And also, whenever you're streaming to Twitch, my output scaled resolution right here is actually 720p and a lot of people will tend to stream in 1080p directly to Twitch. I would recommend bumping that down. That is going to allow your viewers who are maybe on a data connection, their internet's not that fast. That's going to allow them to actually watch your stream without any lag. The worst thing that can happen is you're streaming and people are popping into your stream, but they're lagging or you're there, you know, you're dropping frames. They're not seeing you as good as they should. And they're going to disappear and never come back to your stream. Whereas if you have it like this, there's a much higher chance that everyone who comes to your stream will get a good quality stream, even if their internet isn't the greatest. And that's going to get you more viewers on your Twitch channel. For your downscale filter right here, I would recommend having this as by cubic if you are scaling down. If you are just going and you want to stream in 1080p for some reason, uh, and you have both of these at 1920 by 1080, then you can use bilinear here uh, because it's not going to be scaling. Next up, common FPS values. If you have a high end PC, you want to stream in 60 FPS, you should be able to do that just fine. So go ahead, select 60 right here. And that is pretty much it. Those are my top tips or top settings for a high end PC. This is what I run. I get a pretty damn good looking stream when I'm streaming. I can download all my VODs, everything looks great. So there are the settings that I would recommend using. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We do weekly tips on streaming here on the channel. And you can also check out the written article on this with all the images of all the different settings down below in the description at getonstream.com. And there's also a ton of other articles over on the website that you can check out to help you upgrade and grow your Twitch stream in 2021.